we've got this sample basic sheet metal part, stainless steel. I'm going to walk you through setting up a static analysis and then taking that into a fatigue life study to see uh, minimum fatigue life on this part. So let's go ahead here and go to a do study. We've got our part already modeled. So let's go back to the model. Let's do our stress analysis first. fix the flanges here. So we've got those fixed, highlighted. Let's go ahead and add our load in pounds. We're going to give it 500 pounds and we're going to select if it will let me select this top face here okay let's go ahead and add our mesh elements create mesh Well, first, right? Let's <clears throat> let's measure the material thickness. All right. So we want a couple mesh elements in the width. So we're going to set a pretty small mesh here. set 0 0.035 as the element width all right the mesh has been created we are now going to run the study so if we, we go to our simulation tab can see it spit out the von Mises result by default. Let's go ahead, change this setting chart options. So you can see our max von Mises up at this corner where the stress is highly concentrated is above our yield strength. So we are triggering a material failure by the sheet metal part starting to yield. up near the yield strength around 25,000 of the stainless steel we can see where the failure is on that 500 pound load now we're gonna use that static study those results of the von Mises stress to start a fatigue analysis. 
we're going to select constant amplitude to keep things simple. We're SolidWorks users. We like simple analyses. This isn't ANSYS yet. All right. We're going to we see our in our fatigue life tree, we're going to right click on loading to set our loading parameters. We're going to pull in our static study that we just did. So it's going to pull in and use that data. We're going to set it at, right now it's at a thousand cycles. This is our load cycles that we want to apply. We're going to set that from a thousand to, let's add a couple more zeros. So a hundred thousand fully reversed, meaning the cycle, each cycle is going to be not only from this direction, but also the reverse. So a full cycle um, instead of just pressing down each time it's going to go fully cyclical. So let's um, apply that. And then this is the most important part is setting our SN curve. So we're going to right click apply on our part here. We are going to see how we have no data here. We could set our own curve here. If we had like 10 points, we could plot those manually. we set that to PSI. Instead, we're going to derive an automatic curve from ASME carbon steel curves. We have our preview of the curve here. This is our, uh, these are our actual points. We're going to hit apply and close that. So again, force coming down on that side, on this face, and then the opposite way. In reverse. So let's run that. Our first plot is our damage percentage shown in red and our more interesting plot is the life total cycles until damage we can find the minimum life and probe that exact location So almost 7,900 cycles is our minimum total life with that uh, stress data applied for 100,000 cycles again, once again on this sheet metal part here. So this is a good way to analyze the worst case total life in your fatigue analysis for SOLIDWORKS. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.